Yoder. Andy Yoder, okay. Yeah. And then this opportunity came along to get a studio here in Northeast DC, here at Staple. And um, and that's been that's been amazing. So a lot of times my ideas will start by whatever materials I come into. It really just follows the idea and the opportunities that come my way. What really inspires me is making something that people connect with. But so I tend to make things that are recognizable objects, but then use some twist in them. And then introduce, use that um, to uh, get them engaged with the work and introduce other ideas. But how would you describe the body of your work? You know, I get asked the, a lot, like what kind of sculpture do you do? And the only thing I can say that's consistent is like the point of view. So the materials have changed very much from one to the next. Um, like for instance, this is a braided rug piece. I did because yeah. I found some um, stretchy fabric that is used to make the little uh, ring collars on t-shirts. It turns out there was a sweatshop below my studio in Brooklyn. So a lot of times my ideas will start by whatever materials I come into. But I've used everything from um, licorice to boulders to uh, wooden matches, um, lead crystal. It really just follows the idea and the opportunities that come my way. This piece as well. Thank you. Yeah. And, and what's this made out of? Well, it's braided, it's braid, uh, it's knit fabric braided together to make these, which I braided. But underneath it, there is a, a plywood fin that projects off the wall, and then additional uh, cardboard fins to um, repeat that shape. And, and then I wrap it uh, in a skin of cardboard, and then I just apply these braids with hot glue and, and carpet, double stick carpet tape. And how long would something like that take? Uh, Man, it you know, looks like it's a serious undertaking. I sort of lose track, <laughs> and a lot of times my work does seem to take a long time, but to me that kind of repetitive work is very um, calming. I let my mind wander while I'm working on it, and it, it also, a project like this, the one I'm working on right now, it allows me to use color directly, mm -hmm. and that's not always um, something that, that, that does come easily in sculpture, so I like that quite a bit. Um, I would say this probably took probably maybe, you know, th three, four, five weeks, something like that. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely beautiful. I call it Whopper. Whopper. Wow. <laughs> just out of curiosity, like the, to have it on the, on the wall as opposed to standing straight yes. up, what was the decision behind that? Well, I wanted it to have, to be a sort of confrontational piece. Okay. Um, I wanted it to have an impact on the mm -hmm. viewer. Um, and it gets in, literally gets in your face that way. Um, the, this, this is part of a series of rug pieces I did, and my initial thought was that um, it was based on growing up. Uh, I would go to friends' homes. A lot of them had these braided rugs on the floor and also a bunch of antiques around. And I thought, well, these are sort of like, give you the feeling that there's like this whole connection between generations. But there was a disconnect between that and very often those families were in the midst of, the parents might have been in the process of divorce, they were coming apart. So it got me thinking that sometimes the things you sweep under the rug, mm -hmm. try to sweep under the rug, they don't really disappear. They are going to push up and wow. manifest themselves. You Great know? concept. <laughs> so that was it then. I, the first ones did start on the floor, but they'd have like this giant bulge coming out, you know, pushing gotcha. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Great. And so, um, what would you say um, inspires you? It's the ideas that get me excited. Okay. Yeah. And then, if something expresses an idea in a fresh way, and also what really inspires me is making something that people connect with. Mm -hmm. Because for me, I'm like, I'm probably like a frustrated musician. I wish I could play, you know, <laughs> and perform. Mm -hmm. But, so I tend to make things that are recognizable objects, mm -hmm. but then use some twist in them. Because I like people to have that initial recognition and, and connect with the work that way, gotcha. but then, and, and, and then introduce, use that um, to uh, get them engaged with the work and introduce other ideas.